三月五号是美国的超级星期二，民主党及共和党呢正在进行党内初选。那么记者现在就在维吉尼亚州菲尔法克斯郡的一个投票所的现场，现场除了呢有这个特朗普的竞选标语之外呢，同时我们也看到有民主党的选民服务处在现场来为选民做服务。那我们也知道这个地方呢是一个选民组成非常多元的场所，所以呢，在这个啊、呃、选举的这个告示牌上呢有多种语言陈列，包括了西班牙文、越南文，还有韩。文一起陈述，呃，告诉选民如何来进行投票。I voted for Donald Trump. Uh, he's basically the strongest candidate on the Republican side, and uh, he, the last term he was in, as the president, he uh, produced results uh, in terms of both foreign policy and economy. Biden, because mm -hmm. I feel very strongly. The alternative is a true endangerment to our democracy. I share that too. If there was someone who was a little bit younger um, and seemed uh, fit for the job, I definitely would have cast my vote there. I actually vote for Dean Phillips um, only because um, I, I've always been a Biden supporter, uh, but uh, I, I really do think that we need uh, a younger generation uh, taking over. To me, it is an age issue. Uh, it's not a question of capacity. It's a question of uh, moving forward with new ideas and new thoughts uh, at a time where the world is changing very fast. I voted for Nikki Haley. Um, I'm a registered Democrat because I want to do everything I can so that Trump is not president. She's different from Trump, and if there's going to be a Republican and America's going to vote for a Republican, I would rather it be someone other than Trump. And so she seems like the next best option. But I'm not voting for either of them in the general election. 超级星期二之后，各州也将陆续举办初选。最终胜出者呢，共和党方面将于七月十五到十八号在密尔瓦基市的党代表大会上，而民主党呢，将于八月十九到二十二号在芝加哥举办的党代表大会上呢，接受正式的提名。美国之音麦公记者黄阿义在维吉尼亚州报道。